Okay, and uh, I think this is the last video that we're gonna watch today. This is from Grumpy Eye. Uh, Star Citizen hard questions about capital ships. Grumpy's rehab facility number 45. So, uh, Grumpy's typically uh, abrasive. So, let's Hello see. Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna talk what about some hard questions. Say. And I've asked some and I had some replies and also I didn't have some replies. And with the replies that I got, I wasn't really happy with. So let me roll the intro and let's talk about it. Hello. I'm assuming it means he didn't agree with. My name is Grumpy. All right, so before we start, I need to roll you something. And this is going to be from the uh, last Q&A. Uh, the vehicle content team uh, when like it was like Friday last Friday uh, when they talked about it and dude that shirt looks so fresh it looks completely brand new right like the first time he's ever worn that shirt you know how you wear a shirt and it only looks good once it was like featuring uh, John Crew and Richard uh, uh, Towler and um, yeah they responded to one of my questions uh, one of which wasn't deleted because I Every time I post a question for the Q&A, it gets deleted because it doesn't meet the guidelines because the guidelines <laughs> are uh, they don't want to answer when questions. Basically, that's the main guideline. What is the timeline we're looking at for the when, when question? Uh, we're looking at for the interior remodeling and gold pass on this amazing space whale. Uh not gonna answer a when question. So in the Q&A, I have asked uh, what's happening with the uh, Polaris, and I also asked what's happening with the Odyssey. And uh, yeah, the Odyssey question just get, didn't go through, I guess. Uh, the Polaris answer was enough. Did, right? Because I guess they like um, replied to it solely because like the Polaris got announced like five, six years ago. Uh, maybe they gotta say more. something I think about it. was it. in 2016, so you so you count. With the Odyssey, on the other hand, we saw a white box, so they were working on it, but you never know with them, so I just wanted to see. Bro, they just white box things so they can use them and show them uh, for like how big the interior is and stuff, I, and then they just stop. This is how it always is with the big ships. What's happening with my ship? And yes, I am an owner of the Polaris and the Odyssey. Uh, uh, JPEGs, <laughs> basically. I don't even fucking have a JPEG. I just have it on, on, on in my hangar, and that's it. Uh, it was a cheap buy for me, and I wouldn't advise you to buy big ships how ever. Uh, you'll see why but um it was a cheap buy for me solely because i have a bunch of like referral uh, things that i'm getting from pe people that are like uh, buying the game through my referral code so i can just like uh, upgrade from that to a better ship or a bigger ship i didn't know you can upgrade from referral rewards oh shit for a more expensive ship so it wasn't that bad and uh yeah they answered and uh let's let's see what the <laughs> okay. answer is about the polaris why do ships why do some ships get prioritized over others uh there are some ships we've been waiting for like the currently being built banner merchantman since 2013. uh this oh is another my God, thing to write a uh, book on um there is no one answer that applies to every ship um it is a combination of the, the resources we have at the time. Uh, if you take, uh, if I could click my fingers now, put the Polaris into production, um, that would take out a big chunk of the, the UK team for maybe 12, 18 months, uh, which means we can't deliver so uh, a constant flow of other vehicles in patches. So you could go multiple patches without any vehicle release or uh, any support for other features coming out. So this is not uh, an actual response to my question. Uh, okay. It was like a response to the question and then another question, which you heard just now. But um, since the question is like that and since the response is so long, I figured I should just like cut it up in a few pieces and try to well, respond to that response. So what he said right now is that they need to take 12 to 18 months to make a ship. 
capital ship. A big ship. Doesn't matter. It just needs to be big, right? Like, bro, I get it's big, right? And I get it's challenging, and, and I get how much detail goes into it. But if you look at the overall, like, timeline of the game that's that's bad like it's not good it's that that's too long and it makes it and i and again I, I said this on my second channel i believe when we watched that episode i think this is why they're not doing as many but then they sold the odyssey and you guys reminded me i thought that they weren't doing that many capital ships but they still do sell really large ships so we currently have, and I have this in like my notepad. Ones. We currently have uh, in production, in production, uh, and you just heard that uh, Polaris is not even in, in production and it got like announced in 2016 or something like that. Uh, so we currently have the Perseus, the Odyssey, the Polaris, the Liberator, the Manu Merchantman, the Idris M, the Idris P, uh, the Javelin, the Orion, Endeavor, Nautilus, Crucible, Kraken, Kraken Privateer, Genesis Starliner, and the Pioneer. That is 16 ships or 14 if you take out the Kraken Privateer and what is the that, 20 uh, years? The Idris P, uh, which are just variants, but they're not because they're like different. But what, like, I'm gonna keep it at like 16. No, I'm gonna be generous and I'm gonna keep it at 14. Let it be 14. So, 12 months Time per 14. ship. 14. 14 ships. How many months is that? Like, do you see the issue here? It's 144 uh, if months, that's guys. that's the issue, if that's the actual issue, oh, no. what he Plus just said. 24. Why Jesus do Christ. they announce it's 148 them months. Every, it's every couple of months. years? Why do they announce big fucking ships every couple of years or basically ships. every year, like uh, around the IAE? Why do you do that to yourselves? Why do you do that to us? Now, let me go through the list again. The Perseus, 675 bucks. Polaris, 750 bucks. Odyssey, 700 bucks. Liberator, 575 bucks. Banu Merchantman, 550. For now. Idris M, 1000. Idris P, 1500. Javelin, 3000. Orion, 575 bucks. For now. Endeavor, 450. That's like uh, the mid price from all the like uh, different variants. So I just got the, the 450 price. Uh, it's it's a weird one because like, yeah, you, you can buy the things. It's up to it like 900 matter. If you don't know Endeavor. what it is, you don't know. But please do not correct me in the fucking comments because I know what I'm talking about. Uh, Nautilus, 750. Uh, uh, no, Nautilus, 725 bucks. Crucible, 300. 150 bucks. Kraken, 1650. <laughs> Kraken Privateer, 2000 bucks. Genesis Starliner, it's around uh, 400. I didn't type it in. Uh, it's, it's my mistake. It's like around 400 bucks. And then you have the Pioneer, 850 bucks. So combined, that's a lot of bucks, right? So uh, you got a lot of money, and a lot of people have those ships. A lot of people are waiting for their ships. You announced them fucking six years ago. Some of these were announced, like the Javelin and the Idris. They were announced like in 2012. I like I've said this story on this channel like 10 fucking times now, at least. Statistically, there should be a guy that pledged in uh, 2012 for a Javelin and he died and he didn't get the Javelin. And I had that perspective before I started this channel, and when I started the channel, it's one of the first things that I said. And then, actually, I've met a guy whose father has passed, and he pledged for a javelin back in 2012, and he didn't get the javelin. Uh, okay, but like... People die, and... Um, I, I don't know, like, how to... Like, I get the point he's trying to make, but I also don't get it. You know, there's no... Like, did he die of old age? Right? We just had a fucking pandemic that killed a bunch of people, you know? So it's like, uh... We still have a pandemic that killed a bunch of people. Sorry, I live in Florida. It doesn't exist here. But the... The, um... The thing from... 
I, I like I get the point, but yeah, people die. I I don't think that point is like the most valid issue here. Like we are ten years in development, eleven if you count the like uh, pre Kickstarter phase. What's up, guys? Like. What's happening? I know that you don't like when questions, but dudes, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, that's a lot <laughs> like, of ships. And you keep on adding those ships. Like, you keep on adding ships. Yeah, like, if, if they didn't make the Odyssey, this would be less of an issue, I think. To be perfectly honest. If they did not make the Odyssey, would this be as much of an issue? Or would they be doing the right thing and not making more and finishing that lineup? So that's that's the issue here, I think, is that... You can continue to make, like, I am okay with them continuing to sell smaller ships. New ones, concept sales, all that, right? Um, what I'm not okay with... So uh, on top uh, oops, sorry. Rainbow, thank you for the raid, by the way. What I'm not okay with is that they keep selling the really big ones that push everything back. And I think the only thing that we're ignoring here and not paying attention to is the fact that the reason we probably don't have the Idris, the reason we probably don't have the Javelin uh, and a number of other ships is twofold, two things. They don't want to show you the inside until Squadron 42 because, you know, fuck me, I don't know. And then the, um, the other aspect is there's some tech that I've seen on the roadmap a couple times where they want to be able to cull the inside of a ship when you're looking at the outside. And when you're inside a ship, they want to cull the outside. So, like, uh, performance improvements. Top of those without finishing these and giving us, like, other small fighters. What's up with that? But let's see, like, the continuation yeah. of the answer and what they had to say uh, on this topic. We have to balance that across not just delivering vehicles, but supporting the other teams. Um, the last few years, we've been trying to not push vehicles out without their gameplay. All right, so the first few things that he said was actually okay. Like, you don't want to get a, get the ships out uh, if they don't have a gameplay loop or uh, if they're just not gonna work. True. But is it truthful? Um, let's see. No. So <laughs> he said like in the past few years, and I'm gonna just talk about the last year, 2021, the ships that got released the last year. So MSR, Data Runner. <sighs> 400i, Explorer and uh what what is it like a luxury transport vehicle for like uh tax emissions and all that i mean okay cutlass steel uh drop ship for what purpose for uh, what i don't purpose think that one exactly? counts nobody's gonna use it on jump town uh it should be used for like uh like raiding bases and all that but we don't it, have that in the it would be used if if it would absolutely be used for jump town it would be used for other things if they made the ship correctly and i don't think they did it doesn't have enough health it doesn't have enough uh armor it doesn't have enough shields whatever right yeah. it's also uh, on i don't count the that topic one. of drop yeah. ships we have the m2 still drop ship what purpose uh the the it can drop ships those work D uh grumpy i gotta disagree with we you don't know. on these we have the a2 with the bombs the huge fucking bombs it drops bombs and what are you gonna bomb the only thing that you're gonna jump bomb down. is of they course jump down and 750 bucks for that i'm not sure that like it's really useful uh they didn't like give us a thing yeah, he's he's like kind of not making his point with the first few ships the first ship was perfect the rest of them is yeah like the the purpose and value is subjective so you shouldn't you shouldn't be using Basically this thing to bomb but we have bombs and i'm gonna give it to them at, at least the gun doors on the cutty uh steel and the a2 bombs work but what's up with the msr and the 400i uh we got a cyclone ground vehicles why for what for what purpose on what planet on where they literally do rallies. No answer to that. Like I can, I can Come ask on, the, those questions, but you were no doing answer. So good. Like, for bunker missions, you can just hide the ship behind rock. You can just hide the ship behind uh, the pillars so the turrets can shoot you. People you, use. You them. can walk to there. Like you he can, was doing you can so destroy good. the turrets. I don't get it. And then we got the tonk 
and then we have the Spartan that's like the one of the last vehicles that got released and of course we have the mule that came out without its game loop and it's not even fucking working uh yeah i, I got it i still didn't test it out but you can't as far as i heard it yet, cannot can pick up any boxes yeah so was that truthful mm, no it was not truthful let's go a bit into the past so they have released a few big ships in the past and um those ships still don't have game loops and that's of course the 890 jump which is 950 dollars what do you mean the game loop is fuck it's literally dunking on the pores man the game loop is there it's flexing on the pores which got released uh in 2019 uh the, the price before the release ship. was yeah. like e90 <laughs> because that's funny and uh then we have the reclaimer uh released in 2018 400 bucks currently no game loop uh 90 jump doesn't have a game loop it's exploration and like uh taxi missions and all that and luxury whatever touring. okay fair no taxi missions and that's really no game loop, probably basically. where it would shine 600i 2018 I mean, it has three size five guns, and it's it's valuable just because of that. But exploration, touring, and all that, it, it just doesn't make sense because it doesn't work because we don't have that game loop. And the Carrick apparently got released in uh, 2020. I'm not sure because I started playing like late 2020, uh, beginning of 2021, and uh, I like I did follow the development of, of the game, but I yeah. like I wouldn't like, know. He could have brought up things, and he, and he may still. I mean, we, we're not even halfway through the video yet, where um, things like the oh the Argo. <sighs> the new cargo ship with 96 scu i know the details of it i just can't think of the name um raft the raft right where it doesn't have its uh ability to pick up and put down the stuff right you could have mentioned that you could definitely mention the salvage ship that doesn't really do that much salvaging it just does hull stripping um exploration ships are a good example i think the character that he's going into if you go into the rooms there's a lot of features of those rooms that don't work uh right so there's ships that were sold recently that do not have their game loop um but they do it less is that good enough though i don't know i don't think so oh when the carrier got released but it is 600 bucks and none of its game loops work so 2020 uh is if it's if it really got released in 2020 so that's uh two years ago so what he said a couple of years the last couple of years couple yeah, beginning of 2020 two, 2020 two and minus two is 2020 so therefore like it's not truthful like it, like you can say whatever but it's not truthful it doesn't even need to hit the game loops maybe he didn't mean game loops maybe he meant like tech for uh that, that's gonna work and then we have the carrick let's uh stick with the carrick it has drones the drones what like don't work yeah it that's has what a I was repair station to. doesn't work it has a cartography deck doesn't work because the exploration is not a game loop because it doesn't work uh it has a medical bay but they're gonna take out uh it's not gonna be a tier one anymore so it's not gonna spawn people anymore it's just gonna be they should work heal, on new basically. gameplay instead of ship reworks uh, the in, the most important thing to the most important gameplay loops i think in the game uh things like salvaging require every ship to be reworked they have to put the components in the right place uh i i also think the not just salvaging but disabling ships i think you just misspoke no this is not the first time they've said this right um same for the cargo refactor i don't think so i think cargo refactor is just physicalizing cargo but the that already you know sizes and metrics are already a thing um i i think that that mentality is just not right and the idea of they should stop doing this and do that it's not really how it works sometimes they're dependent on each other and reworking ships is absolutely dependent on bringing star citizen forward to where it needs to be um 
Yeah. And we're, that's going to happen many times. Okay. So there's, there's currently the ship gold standard stuff that's happening now, which is taking way longer than it should on a lot of ships. It feels like, I feel like every patch we should be getting multiple ships that are done, but they probably have half the team working on the brand new merchantman. Remember when he said he would have half his studio work. If we did a large ship, I'd have half my team uh, taken away for the next 12 to 18 months. Well, guess what? Guess what's happening? There's a lot of ships coming out. Hull C, Hull A, uh, you got the Vulture or whatever, the, the Salvage one. I always mix up the names between the Vulcan and Vulture. You have a lot of things that are coming, and there's n I don't know when the next rework is. I, I remember the, the Cutlass was supposed to be there. They have to put the components in the right place. Otherwise, we're not going to be disabling ships. That has to be a thing that happens. Um, that is the next logical step where Star Citizen needs to go is to get to that point. So that is very, very important. And um, having the mentality of they should not rework ships because they should be working on gameplay makes no sense because they're literally together. Uh, it has like... But do I, I need to continue? It has fucking modularity, of this. but that's not in the game still. Like all of those pods where you can store cargo, you can exchange those pods and just use it for like something else, for a refinery, whatever. It doesn't have that. That doesn't work. It it just doesn't work. And like, was this truthful? Fuck no. Like two years, if it actually got like released in 2020, that was two years. And you have a bunch of other ships that got released last year that I was here to see and witness that they released ships without a game loop for them and uh, without the like old attack working on them. And like, I'm not even talking about like uh, escape pods. We have no idea how they're gonna work. We have no idea when they're gonna work, but we have them. And yay, we're at some point we're gonna escape from the ships. Like, let's... <laughs> Like, see, like, the, my main thing here is we need to see, like, progress. If you're gonna uh, announce a bunch of shit, a bunch of ships, you better fucking deliver on them, right? And, like, am I being negative now? Am I being a bastard now? Am I being hyperbolic for uh, asking those questions, like, for, for saying that? Because that's fucking... No, not for saying it. The delivery is what people end up getting frustrated with, with him. Also, I think he definitely went too deep on things that were irrelevant. And people will go into that. We pay for it. We want it. You, you promised us something 10 years ago, 6 years ago, 5 years ago, a year ago. It doesn't fucking matter. You promised us. We're not asking when exactly... But are you fucking working on, on on it? No, you're not even fucking working on the Polaris. So we need to see progress. But let's Yeah, I think being upset that like this is how things work is absolutely a problem. Right? But his delivery will rub people the wrong way. Who he's talking to there, guys, trust me, I know, is the people in his comments. The people who talk shit to him all the time and and he has to deal with it, right? And it's 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 not because of what he's saying. It's because of how he's saying it. Let's see what else they have to say in their defense. Um, so things like the Crucible, we could make the Crucible now, but we don't really want it floating around without the repair gameplay to go alongside. So whilst I can control the, the production of the vehicle, I have to rely and work with other directors to get their side delivered at the alongside it um and the problems that affect me of hey we we've, we've changed our minds for ie we want to do this instead also oh, affects them God. for other things like this sounds like he was like r like ranting a little bit about something that happened internally that made his job more difficult like the, the feature they're working on now might be delayed for another team which delays the feature i need for this vehicle so because this is what happens. This director is the ship director, but he needs these other directors to do things that he needs. And there's a, all I all this pulling and and it's like a tug of war situation. And 
we we chop yeah. and change a lot all right so this could be understandable if uh the things that i said prior to this uh weren't a thing because th this is just not like bad management truthful. i mean i understand i un i completely fucking understand the point of view and i support it of course but then again why would you announce all of those ships if you knew that they just wouldn't work why would you sell those why would you sell a crucible because he's talking about the crucible uh when you know Bro, because they got to make money. They got to pay the employees. The ships don't matter. No, that it's not going to be in for they don't care. at least a couple of years now. Like, it's as simple okay, as that. maybe, they don't maybe care. they're going to rush the production and can't. just uh, get it out. Okay, nice. But what about the Polaris and the Perseus? I think we put so much value in what ship and what we want to do. So, like... it's this is, this is, like, the really difficult thing with Star Citizen, right? This is, like, a really, really difficult thing with Star Citizen. Is because you want your ship. You want to make it about you. Right? You want it, you want your story to be told the way you have it in your head. And therefore, you want your Polaris, you want your Orion, you want your XYZ, just name it, right? One of these large ships. But in reality, and, and this can go for any ship, uh, you don't need it. And it's not, some of these ships are not necessary for Star Citizen to exist and to be fun and to be good. And I think as members of the community, we put way too much onus in specific ships or ships in general when what is special about the game is not the specific ship, it's what the ships do. And the fact that they have, most of them have, an internal place that you can walk around and you can go from zero G, you know, it's, it's what star citizen can do. It's not what that individual ship will give you in a lot of cases. Now for some ships, um, you know, mining ships and exploration and certain things. Yeah, sure. I think they need their gameplay, um, to function, but I mean, grumpy plays star citizen. I play star citizen now, and there's plenty of ships that don't have the, intended gameplay but people find a way to enjoy them and have fun i hate that they sell spaceships spaceships were an amazing opportunity at progression in star citizen they fucked that up a long time ago and if the project's going to continue It's very clear that this is the path to make the money for them. This is what they want to do. And they have, over the past few years, have been lowering the relevance of the ship you fly. Right? And upping the relevance on things like reputation, death, things like that. That's the direction the game is going so they can continue to sell ships, not just before launch, but I believe, and this is just my opinion, post-launch. It's just what it is, right? Dude, thank you, Cutlet. And everybody who's subbing, um, this scene, for some reason, does not work. So I can hear you, but uh, I don't think the chat can. And um, the alert's not coming on the screen. I know why. I have to fix it. So the Polaris and the Perseus... I completely redid uh, my OBS. Have, so I'm finding like, all the little errors. What do that they I have? Made. They have a... Uh, like, let's, let's talk about the Polaris because they have it. Uh, has torps. We have torps. Uh, they are size 10 torps, apparently. 
uh, which is like a size, like a one size bigger than the Retaliator Storps. So it's just making new model, making new damage model and all of that. Holy shit. This is okay, the, that's going to take some time. He, he's literally proving my point. This is the exact reason not to make the Polaris. This is the exact reason why it is not prioritized. It's because you already get the gameplay that it does. For the most part in the current experience uh it has a hangar uh which other ship has a oh yeah the Carrick and the a90 jump so we have hangars in our game but this does not justify the fact that they have sold a 750 dollars ship and do not communicate well how long it will be until you get that ship that's terrible he has every right to be upset but i'm kind of just talking about we're we're also the problem here it's not just them right? already but they're a big part are we gonna it's not be able them. to spawn ships in those hangars I, we don't know are we gonna be able to like repair ships in those hangars apparently so but still it's such a minor thing compared to the carrick that doesn't have a single fucking game loop uh working for it uh why didn't you uh, like release the polaris on the other hand we have the perseus that doesn't have a hangar it has missiles uh like a size 5 torpedoes or something like that and it has like uh two turrets with size 7 guns we have turrets we have size 7 guns uh so where's the perseus and there's more ships that were like th that are just concept ships honestly i think that ship is one of the also the reason that you don't see it is that that tech that ship interior culling tech that i've seen on the roadmap a couple times but. they don't like that like the nautilus the nautilus is uh basically a big ship it has mines it lays mines but we have bombs now and why is that so different to mines why didn't they work on the mines the bombs and the missiles at the same time or at least on the mines and the bombs or well what did they work on right or just different sizes That's of the bombs because we can actually buy a size three bombs if you didn't know now you know we can buy size three bombs as as well the size six uh repeaters but we don't have any uh ships that can carry size three bombs or size six repeaters so we have them in the game but we don't so what's up with that that that's another hard question we don't know and that's basically why I said that this is not really truthful. No, I know that gadgets. like he's doing his best. Yeah. Uh, like don't Thank don't, you, don't uh, attack me. Don't think that I'm attacking him. Uh, uh, especially no, I'm not. Uh, he's just the guy that answered to questions, and he is the guy that is basically representing CAG. Uh, it's CAG's fault as like as a company that they're doing really bad for us they're doing fucking amazing for them they're making a lot of money they have sold uh, like a ton of mist basically and that's a translation from serbian if you're serbian you're gonna uh, uh, understand Fair. it like bottled mist basically uh mist in a jar but uh once you open the jar and there's no fucking jar either like the jar is just like being on your hanger here and i clicked on the orgs uh being on your hanger here and just like looking at your polaris your uh whatever ship it doesn't matter so like see but let, let, let's hear what else is they that a have basement? To say. yeah it looks like a basement dude i miss that's one thing I miss about living in the northeast of America and, and living in Florida now is no basements. Not having a basement sucks. And then also, if you have uh, artists especially, hey, you're working on this big ship for 18 months. You don't want to put them on another big ship for 18 months afterwards. You want to break that and give them, hey, here's, here's a nice little snub ship to do. So that's why you might see like a random ground vehicle come out from nowhere. Um, because okay. they are much quicker relatively to do and gives gives if if he doesn't if he has a response to this that isn't like okay that's fair like like we we don't work at the company like they know how people feel this is definitely probably from feedback from the the u.s um or from the u.s from the artists so 
gives those people a, a nice like palette refresh of what they're doing. Um, so basically what he just said is that after they are done with a ship and I was generous and I said that there is 14 ships and I was also generous when I said that it's going to take him 12 months, which is a year. So that's 14 years of human life just to release the ships that were announced and then he said that they need to take some time off basically by doing smaller ships so that's gonna be like six months or three months or whatever but let it be six months so 14 times six uh or times half because it's half a year so that's gonna be seven years so on top of 14 years you have seven. so in 21 years maybe we're gonna have all the ships from the list and i'm gonna uh, uh, remind you again if you just joined because like i'm premiering this and this is gonna be also here as a video but um yeah perseus polaris odyssey liberator band of merchantmen idris m idris p javelin orion endeavor nautilus crucible kraken kraken privateer genesis starliner pioneer those are the the announced ships it's 16 of them but since uh two of them like have just variants yeah, of them didn't even click generous and i said 14 so that's 14 years plus seven years of just like chilling and that's 21 years so in 21 years maybe we're gonna have our krakens and our javelins and then of course on top of that they're gonna add more and more new ships uh like capital size ships and all of that because like yeah you're gonna want them in 21 years when they finish with with these ones or maybe maybe they're gonna like bounce them around and then the orion i didn't put the orion oh i did uh and then like the orion uh is which is like one of the first or or the javelin is gonna be postponed because yeah we're doing the um uh, the emerald or the uh, venture the uh, whatever they're gonna make a name and, uh, and it's gonna be fucking amazing it's always gonna be amazing and every ship like each ship that they're gonna release that, that, that that's gonna go into a concept phase is gonna be better than the uh, last one because yeah like you will want to have it either by ccuing or by buying it outright because like uh, Bro, most of them are just gonna be uh, limited sales only and you probably began to realize why you shouldn't buy big ships uh, in this game and why you should ask always ask the hard questions and never give them an opportunity to tell you no you can't because yes you can because you're fucking paying for video. that you're the customer and you are basically over well i'm not i'm not gonna be a fucking karen now but there's a lot of things that like a lot of discrepancies like we don't really need a kraken right now right we really don't need a kraken like we don't even fucking have the second system and we need the second system to bruh i feel like i need a kraken you kidding me i want to hang out with all my org mates on a single ship that they can all land on to justify having a liberator a kraken or, or anything like that but we're gonna out of all the biggest ships in the game that's the one ship that i think we need more than any of them get those soon ish and those are not even in production and it takes them 12 to 18 months to like produce one of them so am i being a karen now for like saying that like dudes what <laughs> what are you talking about like maybe the idris and the javelin and we can take him off the list maybe we can take him off the list just because like um they uh, should be done already should be uh because of squadron 42 but maybe not because nobody saw that nobody saw him uh we just had a tour of the javelin a half not even the half of the javelin uh the address in the game when you uh get it when when you get it when you fucking steal it it doesn't have anything because there's no point in uh, having a rendered interior because it's just like ai piloted so like why would we have the interior at all so uh, maybe it's already finished and just waiting for squadron 42 which is gonna be released soon trademarked by cag but then they're gonna do all the sequels and all that never mind i'm, I'm gonna digress but am i being a fucking karen for asking like dudes 700 bucks that's like minimum wage here in serbia is like 150 now. to 200 he needs bucks. a script yeah uh 
per month. Because he's asked, am I being a Karen for the same question multiple times? And like most it, people it's here like, earn no. like two, 300, 350, 400, 450 bucks per month. Do you know how many uh, uh, <laughs> months of not eating basically is that it, I'm, I don't have that problem. I'm fucking fat. But uh, do, do you know how, how like, do you understand wh why is this a problem? It's 700 fucking bucks. The Polaris is 750. The Odyssey is 700 bucks. The Javelin is 3000 bucks. You don't need to buy them, of course, but since you bought them and since you trusted them with your money, they should be considerate and they should. Uh... I'm only reading this because it's an insult about me more than it is him. Uh, this guy is bad at making videos. I'd say that even you are better, Salty Mike. Shut the fuck up, man. Do you make videos? Do you do this? Guess what? I think he's a lot better at making videos than you. How about that? Answer to the one questions, and they should think about how we feel as backers. Because most of us, most of us are actually pissed off. But let's see what else they had to say, and let's finish the video. So yeah, we're not All the actively geniuses in the chat. ignoring the older ships. Uh, a lot of them have gameplay consequences and gameplay requirements that uh, I don't have an answer of when they will come online. So I can't plan um, developing those ships at that point. Again, the hard question. When are we going to get those game loops or whatever? Or... Better yet, why did you sell those ships if you knew that you're not ready for those? And that does this mean that we need to uh, wait for that, that tech guy doesn't sell to these come ships. online? So then you can start working the on each of those ships. <laughs> so we're going to wait uh, a few years more. And then we're going to have those 21 years to get all the ships. Like... Is that the answer? Like I, I, like, I don't know. It's a hard question and somebody needs to fucking answer it. Do you think it's fair that for, to ask CIG for a timeline for bigger ships? <laughs> yes, but do you think that they're, you know, like the timeline would ever be met? And then what's, what happens if they don't meet it? Like, do you just get a refund or something? You know what I mean? Like, I, I think, I mean, I think that that would be pretty good. It should be like a damn pizza, man. If they don't deliver that pizza in 20 minutes or with it within 10 minutes of when they said it would be there, that pizza should be free. It's not me. Maybe that's I'm how here we should deal with to ships. ask the question. You guys are also here to ask the question. You can post this Come on, video. You guys ever seen no. Teen Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles, dude? The movies in the 90s? The pizza. Hey. Pete's got to be there within 15 minutes or 20 minutes or it's free. Or you can just post uh, uh, your question, this question, on Spectrum. You don't even need to fucking share the video. You're here, you can see it, you, you can understand what I'm saying, and just ask the fucking question. If you want to share the video, share it. If you don't, don't. I, I don't fucking care. I mean, I care it's going to be more revenue and all of that, but I'm just being honest. But, uh... Somebody needs to fucking ask those, those questions, and we need those answers. I'm 34 pushing on 35. I'm going to be 35 in like a uh, few months from now. And like 21 years, I'm going to be 56 once I get one of the ships that I wanted. Like, see, it, it, obviously it's not 21 years, but it's a long fucking period. And obviously they're going to grow as a team and obviously they're going to have more people working on more ships, etc, etc, obviously. But it's not going to be less than uh, like 10 years from now, right? Because like, it's not like ma magically going to all appear in like two years, three years from now. Because they're going to add more and more ships. See what I mean? That's why you need to ask those questions. That's why I am asking those questions. I don't have the, like, I have like 2,600 subscribers. And thank you for that. I love you guys. Uh, and you can subscribe if you want to. But uh, I don't have the power to, to, to get an answer from them. And we need a fucking answer. Because this is getting ridiculous, right? Well, I think instead of asking the question, you've, you, he's asked, he's made a lot of statements. 
and some statements that aren't relevant to the questions that he wants to ask. Um, but I think the question is super relevant, and I think it 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 does mean something. And I think maybe we are owed an answer. And I think in a lot of cases, CIG doesn't really owe too many answers. But I think the answer is really obvious, and the the answer is keeping the doors open. You know, so it's like one of those things where you got to keep the doors open, you got to keep the devs paid, and they're and they're they're just you got to understand the value of a ship is just in your head in a lot of ways most of it is i think like there's certain meta ships and things like that obviously but i think i think this is a two-pronged problem and it's not just them but they are definitely it is definitely a problem they created right and then there's one more thing that Jared said that really surprised me and I'm gonna I'm gonna say that maybe he uh, I'm not sure if he slipped or if it was just a brain fart but listen to this and n not for nothing the larger you know the larger ships I mentioned the banning merchantman in 2013 but there's also the interest from 2012 and so like this uh multi-crew gameplay and, yeah. and, and resource management. I mean, I mean, put it, even if we could make an interest right now. I mean, because most of it's you know part of Squadron Forty Two and stuff yeah. like this, and put it out there, it'd just be like driving around in a giant canoe. I mean, it, it's it's like you need the multi-crew gameplay, you need the resource management in order to. to Damn, I almost just leaked something. To have a capital ship experience. I wish I could tell you to this. To put it out right now would It's one of my be prouder moments. Disappointing in more than more than one way. Yeah. I know people want to have it. They, they want to see it. They yeah. want to walk around. They want to walk around and take all the pictures and everything. And then after you're done with that for the first eight hours, you go, well, now it's I want to do something gladius. with it. Yeah, it's a very big gladius. And that's not what we want to... That's not what we want that Can you tell us someday? Yeah. Now, most of what Jared just said is completely reasonable and it's uh, probably just true and uh, it's understandable. And yes, we don't need oversized gladiuses or uh, like... If Xylo ever leaves the company, I could tell you. If Xylo ever moves on, because it would get Xylo in trouble probably. That's why I'm not telling you. It's it's actually not a big deal to tell you the thing, but it would get Xylo in trouble. Sabers, whatever. Uh, we don't need oversized hurricanes. Yet they are still announcing them. Yet they are still like with uh, Polaris. Uh, it has again, concept if I art. Said that you, no, and it nobody got announced in known. 2016. Something like that. I shouldn't have said that. Now 15, I definitely can't maybe. tell you. I, I, I forgot. Uh, we have the Odyssey. It has white box. Like I don't even think he would get in trouble to be honest. The white yeah. box face of the Odyssey. When are we gonna get that? Like the Odyssey doesn't have. Um, anything that we already don't have in the game it has like mining it has refining refining is coming and like it's not gonna be that hard to uh do the odyssey but you never know you, we might wait for like five six years did you and, say it may like, not be that hard know. to do the odyssey but did you catch one thing that he said and i'm gonna repeat it these now. ships take even forever. if we could make an interest right now even if we could make an address right now so does that mean that the address is not done yet because they said that it's done but it's just waiting for squadron 42 to be released so we can have it in star citizen because yeah it's gonna come with the squadron 42 but what like just tell me in the comments was that a slip or was that like a brain it's not fart? a slip w they literally can't it? put it did in i not understand it like correctly he fully does complete that mean without something that, else that culling tech uh, just, i don't know that they've mentioned really like a billion know. times but, but yeah, yeah. That's the video for today, I'm guys. Sure that's thank you for means. watching, and uh, thank you to all my patrons uh, for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, look at his CIG be a link tray. down I don't know. in the info section of the video, and you can support it uh, through Patreon. Uh, and cares? yeah, like tell me in the comment Some section uh, wh what do you think about this, and just spam them with like when questions, and just be more like aggressive 
uh, until you get what you want because i don't know any other way of like how can you make cag is there any other way to make them to give us what we want i can't with that one grumpy come on man what I don't know how to respond to that. But just like go back and listen to what you said again and just realize how stupid that sounded. Let's do it ourselves. Because I don't know any other way of like, how can you make CAG? Is there any other way to make them to give us what we want? I mean, okay. There, there, there was the pandemic and all of that. Okay, there's delays. Okay, five, six, seven years, ten years for the Idris and the Javelin. That's not okay. That is okay, but then, then pile it on with ten years for X, Y, Z, A, B, C, E, F, G, all the billion things that aren't done. And like, I, it, it's, it's getting to the point where it's like, you can apply this to everything. You can apply this to everything. And I, I can't look past the fact that it finally feels like they're trying to change that. But the ship's question is, is definitely a problem, right? It is not okay. So again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to bring a towel it's when a you're traveling through space. And mwah, bye. it's a problem, Love but you. I I don't know what the solution is, and I think that's what he's struggling with. Is his there's nothing wrong with being upset that all these ships that and and it sounds like he owns a couple of them are not in the game, not useful, all those things, right? And I understand where the frustration comes from. I understand why this is annoying, and it is. It's horrible. Um, but you can't change it. And there's no level of rise up that anybody can do to change it. Um... Let's use Asmund Gold for an example here, right? Uh, he talked about somebody. Somebody said, "Oh, you have so many viewers, Asmund Gold. You guys should uh, stop the paid mounts or something like that in World of Warcraft." Right? This is a guy who had five hundred thousand viewers yesterday. Still has no power to change those things. You have to understand the situation that you're in and enjoy the ride or get off. That's what it is in, in, in some cases. Can you provide feedback on certain gameplay standpoints? Can you provide feedback on, is this fun? Is this not fun? Can I, can we make it like this? Can, you know, I enjoyed this from some other game. Yeah. I think I think you can get somewhere with that. But making CIG develop the game the way you want to, prioritizing the ships that you want over whatever they feel is the priority is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So I don't and I'm not telling him to like stop playing the game or stop making videos for for the game. But it is, it is one of those things where you are um, yelling into a bottle of mist. You are creating a bottle of mist yelling at, at, at clouds when you're, when you're yelling at Cloud Imperium games. It's literally yelling at clouds because Cloud Imperium games is not going to change the way they do things because you're yelling at them, right? They don't care 
what you think. They don't care what I think. They don't care what Reddit thinks. They don't care what Kotaku thinks. They're going to keep doing whatever they're doing because guess what? They made $21 million this one month doing exactly what you just made a video about and don't like. They don't care. Right? It's not going to change. Right? That's the problem. The only way to get it to change is to stop buying ships. And guess what happens when you stop buying ships? Developers stop getting paid. They leave. They go somewhere else. And the game dies. We are stuck. Except what you're, except what you're dealing with at this point. The only thing that we could do is try and better what is on our client and what works, what doesn't work. That's it. Nothing else. I really like Grumpy. I really do. I just see... someone upset um and someone not accepting the the status quo as the status quo and there I don't think that there's anything wrong with that um he really feels that he can make a change. And that's why he's d saying these things and making these videos. I don't. And I've just kind of accepted it. But what I feel like, like, maybe I've had an impact on is my level of frustration with their commu communication. Um, and... I think my level of frustration with their lack of of um, respect for people who would who want to enjoy the game, and I think I don't think I'm the single catalyst for that. I think I'm one of probably thousands of people that have started playing the game and and have become have shown CIG that people actually do enjoy the game and that they have to change what they're doing a little bit to make sure that those people are enjoying themselves. So. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think he made a really good point, though, with the uh, the amount of time it will take and how many ships and how much money those ships were. But I think what we have to recognize as backers. And what's crazy is he's a 2020 backer, so he had he doesn't even know the um the level of value ships had placed on them in the early days, uh, like in the 2015 days, right? It's it's insane. Um, but that level of of uh of value has dropped significantly. Every ship they put out. As the new ship they put out is better than the last one, every ship's value goes down, and the cost is in, it continues to go up. And um, the difference here now is you have things like reputation, you have things like um, hopefully the death mechanics, things like that. And then it takes that ship sale value and ship progression completely out of the equation and, and shifts it in a totally different direction. So I focus my attention there. I just don't care about ships anymore. Like he was very focused on the Polaris. It's a ship he owns and it's a ship. It to me sounds like he feels like he needs, right? And he doesn't because in, re in reality, how much would that change the way the game plays? 
I think it would change it very little, but it would be the way that he wants to play it, right? And that's that's the problem CIG created that is impossible to fix. That's the problem CIG created that that is is not able to be fixed. I mean, I think a lot of players will experience proper death mechanics prior to the game release. Yeah, possibly. You know, it is what it is. I mean, I had a near-death experience just a, a week ago, right? Two weeks ago, 